The men and women that came before me, who were average Canadians, answered at times an extraordinary call and how it's their moment to, to honor those sacrifices that have been made in the past. Remembrance Day in Canada on the 11th day of the 11th month at the 11th hour is a time of reflection. But things are changing. Past memories of events, battles and sacrifices from the First and Second World Wars and the Korean War are fading. This year, many of us will be unable to physically attend Cenotaph ceremonies. Operation Capitans of Time is a heartfelt attempt to help Canadians reflect and rededicate time to honor vets and others. So the goal of Operation A Pittance of Time is to have people, for those people who are unable to make it to a cenotaph, uh, for people who, because of work, because of uh, obligations, aren't able to, to take two minutes maybe, we're asking Canadians to take 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or take a minute, you know. They fought and some died for their homeland. They fought him, some died, now it's our land. This Remembrance Day, as we acknowledge the courage and sacrifice of our men and women in uniform, let's also grant them a moment of quiet reflection, a pittance of time. Take a pittance of time. Terry Kelly is a musician who puts into song thoughts shared by many Canadians. Kelly and Dan Hennessy are both honorary colonels, and their role is to reach out to communities in various ways. In this case, encouraging us all to take some time, a pittance of time. The Canadian Honorary Colonel Program and this partnership has made Operation A Pittance of Time possible. I think a lot of the program itself, the Honorary Colonel Program in Canada, I think what they try to do, the mandate, is to connect somebody that is um, embedded within their community. And, and the role is simple. You are, you are a liaison between the squadron or wing and your community. So you've got that sphere of influence that you've developed as a civilian. And I mean, at the end of the day, we are civilians in uniform. Although both are civilians, military culture has guided them deeply in different ways. Air Cadets was a natural for me. And I mean, to be able to be immersed into that, that environment as a 13-year-old bright-eyed teenager was amazing. I got to see lots of things. I got to fly in lots of aircraft. And I learned, I learned life skills. I, I was seven years old when I went to the School for the Blind. And I left home in September. I was there till June, nine months. And my surrogate parents most of them were retired Army, Air Force, Navy people. What when, when Mr. Fraser said one time, Kelly, you know, you're blind, get over it. But guess what? They showed us how to get over it by teaching us to use our gifts, that, the things that we could do. So the blind uh, part of it all became secondary. And that's what we're asking Canadians to do, to, to find a way to to give gratitude for what we have, and how can you give back? In peace may they rest, may we never forget why they died. It's a pittance of time. Honoring past sacrifices is a large part of Remembrance Day, but military personnel continue to make the ultimate sacrifice. Um, for us here at 12 Wing, Remembrance Day this year will have a, a different flavor with the loss of Stalker 2-2. Uh, and me personally, uh, being, uh, having been present uh, during the crash and remembering my six friends that I lost uh, during that uh, tragic incident, uh, this is also the time we stop and remember not just them, but also their families, uh, their kids who will grow up without a dad or without an aunt, uh, without a brother or sister. So this is the day to stop what you're doing in your really busy tempo life and just remember them. We need to, we need to work this as a catalyst to have people constantly remembering 
the sacrifices that people have made and continue to make for our freedom, for our way of life. We get to live an incredible life. You know, you know the essence uh, and the message of, of gratitude that comes from Remembrance Day can be lived in the heart of every child, every adult, for the whole year. Expressing that gratitude for the whole year could also extend to others. A lot of sacrifice for this. And it's not just the military, it can be the firefighters, the police officers, the nurse in this COVID environment. Um, so all those sacrifices what we're pausing to remember on Remembrance Day. Yes, it's a little bit more focused on the military, but take the time and really think about all the sacrifices that were done by other people to allow you to have the life you're living right now. And uh, yeah, thank them in your head. Just take that minute of silence and really thank all those people. In peace time our best, still dawn battle dress and lay their lives on the line. It's a pittance of time. In peace may they rest, lest we forget why they died Take a pittance of time If you can afford two minutes, make that a pittance of time. If it's only 90, 60, 30 seconds, that's cool.